Brand from Buffalo Brand Seed, and I wanted to answer a few questions uh, since I can't do an in-person training for you this year. Uh, for Macy and Ryan at McCord's Garden Center, I wanted to answer some questions about seeding your lawn and property. Uh, first question, when should I seed my lawn? Uh, the best time to seed is April or early May, and so that the lawn can establish before the summer heat kicks in. Um, the best time in the fall to seed is the last week in August or through September. Second question, if I have bare spots in my lawn, how do I patch them? And we are going to show you that right now. So if you're like me and you are practicing your golf swing in your yard and you have some bare spots, you just want to take your trusty bag of potting soil, any potting soil will do. Fill up a five gallon bucket, about a quarter to half way up. I like to use the economy lawn, it's 50% perennial ryegrass, 50% bluegrass. The perennial ryegrass pops in about seven days, so you get a really early burst of green and lets the bluegrass fill in afterwards. Uh, so I take my economy lawn bag. I take two really big handfuls of seed and dump them in. It's okay if you get a little spillage. Make sure you tighten up the bag so it doesn't spill as it, if it falls over. We take our bucket of seed, take a little trowel, really get it mixed in. This is almost like making divot mix at the golf course. And make sure that's really nice and mixed until you can't see any little clumps of seed and it looks all mixed in there. And then I just take my bucket and fill in on the spots. Now, as you can see here, I have quite the hole, uh, a little sunken hole that uh, happened from either rabbits or maybe the dog uh, over the winter. So I'm going to take the good portion of this and dump it in here. Really get it nice and packed in. Like so. Now if we have any left, which we do, we can go over to little areas here in the yard that just have bare spots from the rabbit and fill it in just like you would at a golf course. And just tap it down and water accordingly. Now there is how you fill in any bare spots in your yard. The third question was, I have an area I want grass that is under a pine tree. What kind of grass seed should I use? The answer is I like to use fescues. Fescues have a little bit deeper root uh, structure to them and they're able to grow through the acidity of the pine tree. They also will grow best in the shade. Uh, a shaded area um, like a pine tree, most of the time you want fescues. If you can look and pan over here towards my fence, you can see I will have an area where I use a lot of different fescue over here because it does not get a lot of sun during the summer months. Uh, so that is where I typically like to use the fescue grasses. The one caution I will tell everyone that fescues have a little harder of a leaf structure and that if you want to use them, you want to make sure you keep your mower blades really sharp uh, over the course of the year. That means sharpen your mower blade at the beginning of the season, maybe once around July and then again in September. Uh, so make sure you keep your mower blade sharp because if you don't, they will, instead of cutting the grass, they will tear the grass and you'll get little brown tips uh, on the top of the grass. Uh, but they should work better under a pine tree. If you're using a fescue under a pine tree, you're going to have to plan on overseeding at least once a year every single year. It's not something because of the acidity that is going to help, uh, it's, excuse me, it's not going to come back every single year uh, because of that acidity in the soil. The fourth question we have to answer, I have a large area where I want to lay down grass seed. How should I prepare my soil and what is a proper way to seed it? 
first thing you want to do is rough the ground up uh, with some type of device, whether it's a rake, whether it's a rototiller, whatever it may be. You don't have to till too deep, but you do want to get some uh, crev crevices and some edges in the soil so that you can uh, rough the soil up a little bit, about a half inch deep. Um, when you spread the seed, make sure you're planting the seed mix at a proper seeding rate. And those seeding rates are listed on the bag. Uh, they also are listed at the um, at McCord's where they have uh, our trifolds that have all of our seed mixes on there with the planting ratios. A typical um, dry land pasture or foothills mix usually seeded about 25 pounds per acre. Uh, any of the turf grasses you want to seed anywhere between two to five pounds per thousand square feet. You want to make sure you cover that seed so rake the seed in after you spread it out with the loose soil that you roughed up and water accordingly. Question number five, I want a lawn that I don't have to water very often. What kind of seed should I use? The best answer in my opinion would be the low maintenance mix that we sell at Buffalo Brand Seed. Um, it has perennial rye and some bluegrass in it, but it also has some more non-traditional turf grass seeds in it at different varieties of fescues, red fescues, the sheep fescues that have a lower water tolerance to them. Um, it, it can hold the color and the vitality throughout the summer months without having a daily watering or an every other day watering for it. If you have a zero scape yard where you don't want to water and you don't have a sprinkler system, uh, that would be the best one that I would choose. The one important factor to remember, when you use the low maintenance turf grass mix, make sure that your mowing height is about two and a half to three inches. Uh, if you cut that down too low, you will cut down the crown of the grass, which will damage the grass and not, it won't be able to recover between the mowings. The last question that we have to answer is anyone that has several acres that wants grass, but there's no way to irrigate it, is there a grass seed mix that will work? There's two that we sell at McCord's Garden Center that should work quite well. One is the dryland pasture mix. So the dryland pasture mix is a variety of different pasture grasses uh, that will grow to about knee high and will be able to take the summer heat along with natural moisture that Colorado gives to grow. Uh, that mix will take a good portion of the summer to fill in, so be patient once you plant that. The same planting um, applications apply where you want to rough the ground up, try to create some crevices inside the ground to be able to get the seed worked down in there and then rake it in after you plant the seed. The other grass mix that I really prefer down in the Monument and Palmer Lake and Northern Colorado Springs area is the Foothills mix. The Foothills mix is a natural grass mix of any of the grasses that you would find out in the meadows, the natural meadows out in um, your area in, in Southern Colorado. Um, this is a, a true native mix and will only need to be mowed probably once a year at, towards the end of the fall or it does not have to be mowed at all same planting techniques apply uh, and the best time to plant both of those would be right now in early to mid april so we can take advantage of any of the spring storms that are going to be coming in the other mix we want to talk about is the low grow mix the low grow mix is a very low growing pasture mix or a taller more drought tolerant lawn mix uh, that one is used in areas that you don't really need a pasture mix that gets up to the knee uh, height area, but you also don't want a traditional lawn uh, where you're not going to have a lot of traffic with kids, with pets, or any type of livestock like horses or sheep or goats or whatever uh, you may have. The low grow mix is a very good mix to use. You do want to plan on watering that mix at least once, maybe twice a week to try to get it established and again once a week during the summer months, during, especially during the heat. But it will hold its color, it will hold its green color throughout the year without having to be a traditional bluegrass or turf grass type lawn.